All right, folks, welcome back to the Gen X Gamer. We are back in Valheim, and today we have our first seed discovery video in the Mistlands for Maypoles. So, Mistlands has dropped recently. I think I'm doing this video a couple of days after. Um, so, I have fully updated my game. So, this seed is now live. You can use this right now, and it will uh, work for you. It should have all the stuff that I have. So before we get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. Please remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel, and I really, really appreciate it. So this particular seed has two maypoles, one here and one over here, very close in the same little alcove here. And as you can see, we're on a little bit of a little island. Okay, this is all a bunch of little islands right here. Um, this is where it is in the map. It's you can get there from the start from the um, spawn in. It's pretty far south. You do have to run through some dark forest, a black forest up here, um, which isn't a big deal. But if you hug the coast, you will get here and you can run here, so you don't have to get into cheat mode. Um, but two maypoles, pretty damn close together, uh, which is nice. Uh, you know, you've got piggies, which you usually do. Um, you know, whenever you see maypole locations or little villages. And you've got another maypole right over here. Um, haven't done a huge investigation, but there is a beehive right in there as well. So, nice little location for a, um, a two-player build. Uh, maybe a huge base for a modded server where, you know, you've got all your... Um, Maybe you build sleeping quarters on this side and on this side to get the rested bonus. And then in the middle, you've got all your crafting stations, whatever. Or just, you know, you want to have a solo playthrough. Um, you know, I could see you building uh, maybe a little little place right here. And then having a shrine over there. That might be pretty cool. This is actually fairly open water. Um, this is shallow. You're probably going to have to dig this out a little bit. Um, if you want um, larger boats, if you're playing on a modded server. It is a, pretty much a natural harbor here, though. I mean, you come in, you've got this rock, and then you, you know, slide right in here, and there's your, your maypole with maybe your base. Um, you can see off in the distance, there's another little island, and this eventually opens up into larger uh, a larger ocean, which we will take a look at the seed map in a minute. Um, overall, it, it, it looks pretty good. Um, as you can see, as we ran up here, um, you're coming from that direction, right? And so you've got a whole bunch of this little, al you know, Alcapolico. Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not sure. <laughs> but anyways, there's a bunch of little islands. They are connected, so I guess they're not little islands in of themselves. Um but it's an interesting little location. You've got plenty of nooks and crannies here to build um, large docks if you want, I guess. I don't know. But two maypoles in one little village, fairly close together. I think that's a solid start. So again, this is Mistlands. Okay? Um, my game is fully updated. This should be uh, live right now for you as well. So let's go take a look at the seed generator. So here we are, okay? And as you can see, here's the spawn that we ran to, and here's that maypole location, okay, with the two maypoles. Now, when we, when I said you run down, um, you're looking north, northe northwest, right? This is all like, it's just a big um, bay, basically. Um, and it, and it, re it still runs down all the way, you know, to here. It lets out. Now, you have opportunities to, you know, to, to get out this way as well. That maypole that's close to the water is on this side, okay? So, while it's not ideal to get access to this side of the ocean, it's not bad. Now, the other good news is we've got really good um, centrality, for lack of a better term, in terms of where this maypole is located. You've got, you know, you've got all of, you've got five biomes pretty close you've got your meadows you've got your mountains you've got the dark forest you've got the swamp and you've got uh, plains and the mist lands are right over here so overall in terms of biodiversity i think this is pretty solid um i would definitely 
I think this is a pretty damn good location. Um, the, the access to the water could be better. It would be great if that other maypole was on the water over here. It's close enough, but it's not right on the water, unlike the one to the east, which is on this side of the water, which doesn't give you direct access to large ocean. I mean, you, you, you can sail down this strait, but still. Anyways, let's take a look at the bosses. Not horrible. Not horrible at all. Um, you've got an Elder very close. You've got a Yagloth pretty close. And you've got a Motor over here. And the Bone Mass is over here. Now, the Queen for the Mistlands. Where is she? There she is. Down here to the south. That's pretty far away. But not horrible. It's not like you're way up here. And this one to the north is couple over here there's a concentration of them over here the closest one is to the south okay which isn't that bad you're just going to come out of your maypole location sail to the south and you'll get her there so overall the boss distribution is is okay it's not fantastic it's not horrible either and you've got another bone mass over here as well so i think that's pretty good um you're going to have to do a little sailing which is you know part of Valheim but it would all you know obviously it would be great if the you know bone mass was here motor was here you could just run down and do everything but not the case um let's take a look at the trader not the best case scenario for the trader okay so the trader you've got up here with an elder location you've got three of them concentrated in this little area got one over here as well um you could probably sail to that fairly easily if you get onto the west side of your of your um, maypole locations. Um, the trader makes this a weaker seed. Okay, if the trader was somewhere within this large um, starter area that you were in, it, it would definitely bump the seed up in in terms of value. Um, but right now, the high value of this particular seed is is number one. There's two maypoles in this one location. Number two, you have proximity to many different biomes. Um, the trader is not a strength of the seed, but it, it's not impossible either. You'll, you'll get there. It's going to take you a little time. Let's look at Leviathans real quick. Um, not bad. You've got some to the west here. So, again, you've got three Leviathans. You should be able to farm up enough resources from those Leviathans to provide you with your Abyssal Harp, Harpoons, etc. Um, I think three Leviathans is pretty solid. Um, it should be enough for you, and that's pretty close proximity. Other than that, you pro you're going to have to go south, which, you know, isn't horrible, but, you know, th those three right there are pretty good. Um, let's look at the Tombs and Crypts. Okay, here's where things get better. Um, the good news is, is you've got a really, really vibrant swamp biome right here. That's solid. Um, that's really going to set you up well for your mountain playthrough once you get to that point. Um, and also the bone mass. Now you're going to have to go over to the bone mass here. But in terms of crypts, uh, lots of sunken crypts really, really close to you, your maypole locations. That's good. Um, Dark Forest Crypts, not so juicy. you got three or four over here by the Elder. Um, you know, it's okay. Not great. Uh, you've got a few coming down the coast here. It's really up here. Um, you know, this is, this is a pretty, uh, vibrant, uh, Black Forest for Crypts right up here. Now, it's pretty far away from your Maypole location. I get that. Um, you're just going to have to plan a farming run up here, I think. Unless you want to just farm these three and then wait for them to respawn. Uh, if you're playing on a modded server, your respawn times for crypts may be different. In vanilla, it, it takes a while for them to respawn. Especially if, you, if you're looking for um, certainly cores. These may or may not have them. Up here, you've got so much to choose from. I think you'll be fine. So, I'm pretty happy with the crypt situation on this seed. It's one of the reasons I decided to do a video on it, including the two maypoles. Let's take a look at frost caves. Um, again, uh, a decent situation. You're uh, Over here, this mountain biome is full of crypts, which, as we just saw, it's also 
the, the dark forest biome, the black forest biome next to it, is also full of crypts. So I think you're going to have a crypt um, bonanza up here. <laughs> you also got some sunken crypts over here. Um, not so much to the south. I mean, if you want to come down here to this motor location, um, that's probably where you're going to get, you know, your, your boss fight. If you want to wait to get your crypts here, that's fine. I could see you sailing down this straight, um, coming in here, creating a, you know, um, a portal and then just farming up uh, your mountain biome here and just focusing all of your time in this little area. You are surrounded by planes, which isn't lovely, but it's, you know, not not too shabby. Um, while we're in the mountains, let's take a look at the dragon eggs because we want to make sure that there's dragon eggs around the motor. And again, you've got a lot of dragon eggs here, which is very, very important. Uh, the dragon eggs can be a real pain in the ass because you can only take a couple of them at a time. So this may be your best location to, to farm your frost frost cave, um, frost caves, whatever drops you want from there, and your and your eggs. So you can just drop them off at the motor shrine while you're in that area. So that makes this motor location very attractive. You've got the eggs and the frost caves right there. It's pretty accessible via boat, uh, quick sail. I think that's a solid um, mountain biome playthrough right here. Um, what else can I show you? Let's see, we did the frost caves of beehives. Let's see where the bees are. Eh, not bad. Uh, when you're running down to this location, you're going to have access to one, two, three, four, five, five bee, queen bees. Um, and we know that there's one in this particular uh, maypole location I just showed you. Um, five to six bee queen bees uh not bad that should get your honey production going um i don't think you're going to need more than that um what else can i show you let's see let's take a look at the piggies one way down here one way up here nothing really near where you're going to do the base build for the two maypoles okay so when you get to that location that village you're going to probably want to domesticate the boars right away in that area that would be my priority given that there's hardly any boars around here um and that should suffice if you've played valheim long enough you know the deal with the boars you know once you get a couple domesticated it's pretty easy to maintain them um it would be great if this uh runestone was a little closer but it is not it is what it is um tar pits and totems so it would be great if there were more totems down by this yakla there or not okay it would also be great if there were a little bit more tar pits down here so you could farm that resource for your building material there or not however there's a couple around this motor location so if you did do your mountain exploration and work in this particular location by motor you probably have a decent base built up here somewhere to store stuff you could you know come down here and farm that stuff up and then just port back here to your maple base whenever you need to rest or whatever but uh, it, it's not horrible right it, it again it's it's similar to the motor situation we want to see these uh totems as many as possible by yagloth but you know, it, it could be worse. So these are very rarely, are there more than um, four or five around Yagloth. But, you know, it, it's okay. Uh, th we're happy that Yagloth is this close. <laughs> um, now, let's get into the new Mistland stuff. I don't fully know what all of this stuff does. So I'm not going to proclaim that in this video. I do know that these are important to the Mistlands. The Diverger, which is allows you to... Um, there's some friendly, there's some unfriendly. This allows you to get access to, to, to magic, etc. Bases, additional resources. There are a lot. Okay? A lot, a lot, a lot. And there's a lot down here by the queen. So that's good. Statues and swords. Not bad. The distribution is okay. Um, again, you don't have any immediately on this, this starter area, which does have a lot of the biome diversity, and which makes this particular seed pretty attractive you do have some down here in these small islands and then you've got this little biome right here 
which is then again is close to the ashland which is something that we're probably going to get another biome later um and you've got some down here by the queen uh not bad again I, i'm not going to profess to know what all of those um are for at this time because i haven't I haven't gotten into the mislands too deep. So, overall, I think this is a solid seed. Um, two maypoles, and the sun's going down here. So, again, this maypole brings you out to the little, um, to that strip of water that you're going to have to sail south for to get to, uh, to those locations down here, which is not that big of a deal. And here is your west, your uh, west-facing one, which isn't super close to the water. But again, you've got a natural port over here as well. Um, now that does open you up to the to the ocean. So overall, I would say this is probably an eight and a half. Um, if someone were to say this is an eight, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't howl too much at that assessment. Um, Two maypoles in a little village is always worthy of a video, in my opinion, because it allows you to do multiple different playthroughs with different groupings, right? You could do modded server here. You can do um, a, a large, uh, like a Discord server, where you can build you, you know, the main base right here with two maypoles. Now, uh, you can't build maypoles naturally anymore. Um, because they've changed, you know, obviously we've updated to mislands, but you can always go into cheat mode and build them. Um, I don't assume that people go into cheat mode. I just try to find these particular locations because I find them interesting. Maypoles are not needed to play Valheim. They do give you plus one comfort, and plus one comfort adds one minute to your rested bonus. Now, the rested bonus is important, in Valheim particularly once you get to about the swamp okay you can get by in Valheim without a big rested bonus um, you know through through the black forest but once you get to the swamp and you fight bone mash you're gonna want a pretty robust um, rested bonus and if you can get one that lasts a little bit longer it's just gonna help you it's not gonna hurt so again um, two maypoles in one little village pretty solid the map is pretty solid. I'm giving it an 8. And this is our first Mistlands seed discovery video. So hopefully you enjoy that. Um, there's going to be a lot more to come. I am going back to my regular format of trying to produce um, Valheim Maypole discovery videos and unique seed discovery videos probably once a week or minimally, you know, two or three a month. Um, I, I was at a point I was able to do one a week. I, I think that might be a little too much at this point, but um, definitely it's going to be a mainstay on the channel, which it was through 2022. I see that happening through 2023 as well, because these generate a lot of interest from the fans from, of my channel, and I really, really appreciate that. So let me know in the comments below what you think of this seed. Is this one that you might try for your playthrough in the Mistlands? Um, I don't know. I may try it. I, have, I haven't decided yet. But remember to like, subscribe, share. All that stuff helps the channel out. I really appreciate the support. And I'll talk to you again soon.